Hey everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange. Episode 2 is out, out of time, so let's play. The girls' dormitories, alright. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! Pieces what the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia, without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Life is Strange, a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Snooze. There we go. Life is Strange, episode two, out of time. She's back in her dorm room. Good morning, sunshine. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Make the bed. Well, that sounds real popular. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. All right, what we got going on here? Two messages from Chloe. Okay, 7.37 a.m. on my way. Let's back up a little bit. Like I always said, always for you, no emoji. Meet me at the diner in 40, I'll be there. Don't be late or I'll know. Time is not on your side. After all, you did let the step dork bust me. On my way, you are evil. 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Okay, so what are we doing here? Take a selfie first thing no in the smiling. morning. Take your power seriously. <laughs> All right, so I need to find the shower, I guess, huh? Well, there's no shower here. I 
I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, shower supplies. All right. Ooh, what's this? Can't seem to look at that. Oh, uh, what's in the drawer? It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Mystic enchantment cards. Well, no shower supplies there. Books, sticky notes, camera, photos, picture, plant. What's this stuff here? This must be it. Hmm. Guitar, clothes. Oh, shower supplies. Here we go. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Hmm. Wrong way. Ow! <laughs> Showers and tray. Well, hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. All right, let's take a shower. What's up, Kate? No. Uh -oh. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She is such a bitch. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Hmm. 
I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Kate'sVIP.com. Yeah, we'll erase that. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. <laughs> Fuck you. Get the flu shot before the flu gets you. Get immunized today. I don't think so. Tampon dispenser. Let's get the hell out of here. Rachel is a whore. Hmm. So we need to go back to our room. Yeah, get her what a book, right? Well, what the hell? Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Fuck. Someone just trashed my room when I was in the shower. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. That poster wasn't there. Man, this could almost oh be my God. if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Yeah, she should call the police. It's like psycho stuff. My poor Donnie Darko. How could anybody want to break cute little Jake Gyllenhaal? Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have cleaned that stuff up. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Well, where is it? Papers. And nothing here. Come on, you... You read the book. You should know where it's at. Oh, shit. First she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Oh, Better my fix gosh. This fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Yeah, but I'm going that. Foul soft drink. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to look at this. Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. All right, all right. I need to get dressed before I go there. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you looked good just the way you were, to be honest. Let's see. Clothes would be in a closet. Yeah, of course. Maybe Where else I'll would they just be? put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Let's go find Kate. So, where is Kate's now room? Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Kate's room, here I we go. I do have all the time. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh, what's wrong with Kate? Let's look at the photo. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Mm. Oh, a rabbit. She's got a rabbit. That is the cutest bunny ever. 
I bet Kate is a good mommy. Yeah. Got a picture of a bunny. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Uh-oh, what's this? That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. It's a postcard. Let's take a look at that. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1, five. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, Pop. Okay. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Nah, that's what I thought too. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about the video? Um... Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and Right. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here, near my bag. Wow. Okay, so that's some nasty stuff that happened to her. I guess we leave. Looks she's got the, uh, the mirror covered up. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Oh, what? I can't. I can't leave. What else do I have to do?
Ouch. She left out amnation. Mm, yeah, I can't read that. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's kind of screwed. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta put the book back, of course. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Well, that's a tough one. Go to the police or look for proof. I mean, she should go to the police, but if she doesn't have any proof, it's just going to piss Prescott off. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Ah, is that the bad decision? Well, what if Good I... job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. tell her to go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just... I think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Yeah. Gonna stick with the first. I'm gonna have her wait. We need to look for proof. That's gonna be the best way to go. Yeah, it's gonna be bad if she goes to the police now. Now what? Oh yeah, I gotta meet Chloe. Max! Food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. 
no emoji. I don't know what that means. I need to take the bus to get to the diner. All right, let's go find a bus. Oh, hey, what's going on? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the Did snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Tough mouse. Leave them. Okay. There she is. This looks like a good place to uh, cut the first video. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you for part two.